When you're playing the Maiden's Prayer at a party, you're probably too carried away to wonder how that immortal piece became engraved. Yet the process is almost as simple as the tune, and these are the men who do it. On a zinc or pewter plate, the staves are ruled and impressed, those five lines on or between which the notes are written. Ledger lines, the little ones above or below the stave, are added, as and where required. Great pains are taken to see that the lines are equidistant and parallel, and the bars are then engraved in the same way. Steel punches are used for striking the notes and for the lettering, and the craftsman who does this sort of work certainly has to punch with care. If he makes a mistake, my next door neighbour is bound to get hold of that copy. This man is cutting slurs or binds that group the various musical phrases together, putting the finishing touches to the metal page before it's printed. The plate is inked and the actual printing is done by bringing the copy into contact with a lithographic stone. The lines cling to and dry upon the surface of the peculiarly fine stone and when pressure is applied are transferred to the printed surface. Here's a first proof. Rotary machines are then set in motion, printing hundreds of thousands of copies, or at least the composer hopes so, of Bud Snooper's latest masterpiece when it's foggy round the gas works, I'll be dreaming, dear, of you. On the other hand, it may be music. <laughs> 